Right, you join me a few hours before the real action starts. Today we've got to get all of the shearing done. This year, the wet and mild weather has caused havoc and you will have seen in a recent video that we've had an awful lot of problems with flies in the last week, I guess. It's a day or two on. Uh, we think we spotted a couple more, which we want to sort out. We're actually going to get them. I think the shearing is happening in two days time. But this brown patch here, which I just thought was where she'd lay in some poo. It was wet and it's been dry for the last two days. So I, we've just come up and have a look in there. It's absolutely revolting this, but I don't think they're on the skin, but it's still made, uh, they haven't gone through, but still made everything wet. So we're going to clip her anyway. These aren't very sharp, but they should. I was just about to start using this area, using this swinging gate here and some hurdles, but actually thinking about it, if I can bring them round into this bit, which they're separate from the goats, they might be able to jump over here, so we'll need a few hurdles. Then I can just simply use this gate. Then I'll also need to get the two rams in the trailer, get them parked up and we'll do them last. We do this every day, every hour. <laughs> you dipstick. Right, well here goes nothing. The discomfort of one bit of sheep nut in your foot. Well, there's a good handful in there, but not all of them. Watch this one, second one back. Absolutely no weight on her back foot. Right, the weather's on our side as far as the shearing goes, so that's good because it means everything can be done outside. And they're just hot now, I just need to get a big bucket of water there. Even now I can see flies on the back of some of them. Oh, I just... Oh. My main concern about tonight is that he's just going to uncover one after another of maggot infested ewes and I will just feel absolutely rotten. The Southdowns have a really dense fleece and because of that the maggots and all the flies seem to favor it and a lot of people locally who keep south downs that i've been speaking to have had a really tough time of it this year we didn't shear quite this early last year but i think it's fair to say that it couldn't have come any sooner um we really could have done it last week actually um i didn't spray for that reason i should have sprayed i remember next year that eight which is going to be muggy We'll have to just put some spray on them in April just to hold them at bay until the May shearing. Just had the call to say James the shearer is here, so I'm gonna go and let him in, get him ready, make a stop. When you're in that pen, just to make that pen a bit smaller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just sure it. yeah. Right, I think it's all set up, so hopefully James is going to be able to give us a bit of a heads up on what's going on. But we've basically got the hurdles here now, so we'll be able to go up and do that thing.
what, what's the most frustrating shoot to shoot? Really woolly ones? Sometimes with Dorset, so yeah, they're yeah. just slower shearing. Yeah. What about the easiest? These these girls are quite easy yeah. ones. Oh, they would be in a month's time. Oh yeah, yeah. Like you know, you're saying how I wool's yellow. Yeah, that's uh, just too early, isn't it? Yeah, it is really. But uh, what does that affect though? Just the processing, or how easy it comes off? Yeah, uh, how easy it comes off. Yeah. This is technically the most hard, the hardest part of the sheep this year. What is it? This bit now. We're trying to keep the sheep upright. Yeah. Without holding it too much. Yeah. Okay. So you're trying to rest it against it so you can still work your left hand. And I don't get that right. And when the sheep are like two or three years old, like this one, are they, can you tell that they're a bit used to it more? Yeah. Like shearlings, are they a bit bonkers or? Yeah, well they're too, um, whenever they start with, they're a bit nuts. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Units haven't been handled as much. Yeah. So yeah. they're not used to human contact. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Hey. <laughs> what a sheep. Well, they're out all winter, aren't they? <laughs> Your wellies are on the wrong feet. This is one of the ones we had to clip all off. All right, there's one more on the trailer, so it's time to try and get these boys in. Do you want to shear him? Me? No. <laughs> Do you ever take two people to shear a ram? Pin it down or do they always give up on it? Sometimes. Them. And they just fruit muscle and testosterone in there too. Yeah, yeah. Two lads at work and saw 53 rounds yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Well, full size. Yeah, yeah. proper round. <laughs> it's a bit feisty that one. Mm. 
Hang on, we need to work out what we're doing. Yes, I've Is this for two two people to work yeah, on? Yeah. Can I throw some rapid fire questions at you whilst you're packing up? Yeah, 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 go for it. Um, so I, I asked earlier, but the, the worst sheep for you this worst year? Worst sheep this year. Southdown? Yeah, pro probably. Or Rylands, are they similar? Rylands, are, uh, they're tight. The skin's normally quite tight. The, the wool's quite tight for the skin, so. I, okay. I don't want to encourage anyone to have Southdowns, but yours quite sure, all right? <laughs> yeah. And the easiest ones? Uh, are your mules and things like that, are they quite uh, easy? Yeah? yeah, a lot of people like them because they're bare bare so and there's shortcuts on them yeah. from a shearer's point of view, but yeah. And I didn't see you changing like the blade or the coat, did you? Like... Yeah, I changed I changed the cutter, I checked, so I saw them 36 sheep, was it with the three cutters, so I changed about every 12 sheep. Yeah. We normally change about every, every Nine or ten. So, so you just shove them up in a batch and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. so... Look, my comb, the combs... I'll show you. If you put your combs in there, then when you're rattling them around in the way home, or when you're washing them, you can chip the teeth. Ah, uh, okay. And, and that'll just... Not necessarily, but it can encourage you to pick up a bit of skin yeah. when you're shearing them. So, yeah. And that's so that's it. not the blade, that's just the comb? That, that's the comb. So you don't need to sharpen them? Yeah, you sharpen them and you sharpen them. Uh, okay. So, so that's the cutter, and then they, yeah, they go on a handpiece and yeah. fire across that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Do they wear down? Yeah, they wear down. You grind them on like, in a, it's like a big sanding disc, uh, and okay. you have a pendulum hangs down, and you... And on you the can, right angle. Yeah, 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 and there's a lot, there's a lot of effort in setting that up correct as well, mind. So if you're into competitions, you're, it's all your prep work as well? Oh, your prep work, yeah. Anyway, Anyone, anyone can shear an easy sheep or, or drive a handpiece, but it's a lot of it is in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The only time I've ever done well is, is, is if, if someone's done a comb up for me. Yeah. Because some shearers will spend hours, <laughs> hours fine-tuning fine tuning the edge of a, yeah, yeah. A, the teeth on a comb. I oh, it's like chisels if you're a carpenter. Yeah. Guess, enjoy that. Yeah, exactly that, yeah. How about your footwear? That was another question. What's, oh, the, the, what's the reason for moccasins? Um, so you just... I, the, they are, they are really comfy for one thing, but they, they, they do stop you slipping. And yeah. Yeah, they, they just give you that bit more mobility as well. All right, look at your ankle. Yeah. Um, yeah. They, yeah. I wouldn't be able to, yeah, you probably asked the wrong person, but I, if I shear three or four sheep for someone, I will shear them in trainers, but it's completely different. Is it? Yeah. Just yeah. get used to how your feet move. Yeah, and... exactly, yeah. There you go. Coming back next year? Yeah. Yeah. If we've still got sheep, we've still got enough uh, patience. You like my life? Yeah. Hey, hey. Yeah, it's fun, and he can sure drive the trailer. That was good, good driving. Right, let's get this wool away, and it's a school night, boss. Got to drop these two rams back up in the field and then make sure everything's fenced back off. If only Eden didn't have to go to school five days a week, I'd never have to get out of the car. So an interesting thing that James said, uh, just as we were packing the rams back up, is once they have been shorn, they've got less smell their scent changes because they haven't got their wool on anymore and therefore the rams kind of think they're with a new ram and they start getting a bit fighty and boisterous we've just got to hope they've got steady they've got enough space here and they're going to be alright again but... ah, I'd say like we it. need to worm Fred Ow. right I'll drive forward and you shut the gate behind me No, 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 no. Right, I need to run in. They need to stay.
stay put, right, just to oh, sheep to come back in now. Oh, that's on.